Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a page reveal animation using HTML and CSS. So first of all, let me show you a demo. Now in the beginning, we won't have any content displayed over here. It will all be white screen. And when we load the page, you will have this animation right here. And after that, the content of the page will be displayed. So we're gonna create this animation using HTML and CSS in this video. So let's get started. Right here I have created this folder called page reveal and I just opened it with VS code. Now let's go ahead and create the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I'll just name it index.html and let's also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. Right, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you will have this basic HTML5 code. Right, let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just tap link and press tab and in the HR file just tap style.css and uh, let's create a division of the class of page reveal and in that we will have different divisions for each of the elements that we see on the screen. So if I refresh this page we can see that there are two elements over here. One is with a yellow color and the other is with a dark blue color. And in the beginning we also need to have a white background color so we need to have one more element for that. So let's go back to our HTML and let's create three divisions. And uh, for the first division let's give it a class of element 1. And let's also give it a class of element so that we can style all the elements. And let's duplicate this two more times and for the second one let's give it a class of element 2 and element. And then lastly we have element 3 and element. Right now let's create an H1 for this heading right here. So let's just type hi welcome. Right now let's open this in our browser and I already have an extension called live server installed in VS code. So once you install this you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see our design is being displayed in the browser. Right now it's time for us to add the CSS. So let's go back to our code. And let's go to the style.css file and first of all let's add some styles to the h1 and let's set the font size to 100 pixels and let's set the text align to center and let's also set the text transform to uppercase and let's also change the font let's set the font family to Montserrat and we'll also set a margin top and let's try 200 pixels. So this is how it looks. Now let's style the page reveal elements. So first of all let's target the page reveal division which is the container division over here. So let's tap dot page reveal and let's set the position to fixed and uh, we'll also set the inset to zero so that it will have the full width and height. So now if we add a background color over here we can see that it has the full width and height. Right, let's remove the background color and uh, here we can see now we are not able to select this text. So what we will do is here for the page reveal, we'll just set the pointer events to none so that it is not clickable. So now we are able to interact with the content. Right now let's add some styles to the element. So here we can see we have these three divisions with the class of element. So let's type page reveal element. And for the element let's set the position to absolute. Now this will be positioned relative to this page reveal division and uh, let's set the height to 100% and the width to 100%. Right now if we add a background color over here, we can see that it has the correct width and height. So let's remove it. And uh, now let's add different colors to each of the different elements. So first of all let's tap page reveal and we have an element with a class of element 1. So let's target that element 1. And for the element 1, let's add a background color of FFB703. And by default, we will set the scale to 0. So let's start transform scale X and let's set it to 0. And now the element is not being displayed. So if we add a scale of 0 0.5, for example, we can see that it has the scale of half the screen. So let's set it to 0 by default. Right now let's target the element 2. So let's tap page reveal element 2 and let's set the background color to 023047 and here we can see this is the background color. 
Now for this also we will set the scale to 0 in the beginning. So let's type transform scale x to 0. And then we will style the element 3. So it will be by default on the screen in the beginning. So let's type page reveal element 3. And let's set the background color to white. So this is how the screen will look at the beginning. Right now the next thing we need to do is add the animation. So let's go to the original design. And if I refresh this page, we can see that the element goes from a scale of 0 to a scale of 1. And then it goes back to a scale of 0. So for that let's go back to our CSS and let's create an animation. So let's tap add keyframes and let's give it a name of reveal anim. And for this animation at 50% mark, we need to set the scale to 1. So let's tap transform scale x to 1 and then from there we need to go to 100% and here we need to set the scale back to 0 so let's tap transform scale x to 0 right now let's add this animation and let's see how it looks so here let's type animation and let's set it to reveal anim and we will set the duration to 2500 milliseconds and we'll set the easing function to ease Right now let's go back to our design and let's refresh this page and the animation is not working that's because we have this white background color on top of all the other elements so let's go back and uh, let's set this element 3 to the top and now let's go back and now we can see that the animation is working so if I refresh this page once again we have it going from a scale of 0 to 1 and then back to 0 right now the element is growing from the middle now we need to grow it from the left side. So here we can see it grows from the left side. So for that let's go back to our CSS. And uh, here for the element we need to add a transform origin. So let's tap transform origin and let's set it to left. And now let's go back to our design. Right now let's refresh this page. And we can see that the element starts from the left. But we need to end it on the right side. So here we can see it starts from the left but we need to go to the right. So for that let's go back to our CSS and we need to go to the animation and here for the 50% mark we need to type transform origin and here we need to set it to left and uh, after that we will add one more keyframe over here which is 51% and here we will set the transform origin to right and we'll copy the same code from here and let's paste it down here for the 100% mark. So now what will happen is that it will start from a transform origin of left which is right here and uh, till the 50% mark it will have a transform origin of left and then in the 51st percent it will change to transform origin of right and it will stay in that state for the rest of the animation. So here we can see at 100% we have transform origin of right. So now let's go back to our design and uh, let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the animation is working all right. Right now let's add the animation for the next element. So here we have element 2. So let's copy this uh, line of code from here and let's paste it down here. Now for the second element we need to have the animation run a little faster. So I'll just set the duration to 1000 milliseconds. And we need to have a little bit of delay in the second animation. So here let's tap animation delay. And let's set the delay to, let's try 900 milliseconds. And now let's go back to our design and let's see how it looks. So let's refresh this page. And the animation is working all right. Right now the last thing we need to do is display the content of the screen. So for that let's create an animation. And let's tap add keyframes. And let's give it a name of reveal content. Anim. And here I'll just add one frame, which is the last frame. You can just type 2 or you can also type 100%. And here I'll just type transform, scale and uh, I'll just set it to 0. And we need to add this animation to the third element, which has this background color of white. So here we have this element. I'll just add animation and let's set it to reveal content anim. And here we also need to type 4 words so that the animation stays at the last frame or else the animation comes back to the first frame. Now if we save this and if we go back to our design and if I refresh this page 
we can see the element is displayed by default so we need to add an animation delay for this animation so let's tap animation delay and let's set it to 1000 milliseconds and now let's go back to our design and let's refresh this page and we can see that by default the content is not being displayed but after 1000 milliseconds the content is displayed let's reload the page and we can see that the animation is working all right so that's basically how you can create a page reveal animation using HTML and CSS. Now you can go ahead and add more elements over here to create a better animation and you can also create different reveal animations for different elements to make it even more effective. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.